in my opinion, we, the general public, have gotten so much better at how we handle hurricanes in my 12 years here at Thor News. All right, so we've been hit with three hurricanes this season. Nobody died from Francine. That's great news. And we may get hit with another hurricane on Tuesday and then like 10 days from that. How many hurricanes will we get hit by this hurricane season? It's an interesting question for sure. All right. Not only are we on the cusp of a partial lunar eclipse supermoon coming on the 17th and 18th, which always makes people a little extra wacky, but the sun has showed up and showed out with what people are calling a gigantic or big X-Class Flare X 4.5 that just happened. So, yeah, the energy's really unstable right now. Can you feel it? Zip zap pow. Yo. And last night I was noting that I saw several people have emotional outbursts out in the real world and apparently perry farrell of jane's addiction attacked dave navarro of jane's addiction on stage and the concert ended hope that doesn't ruin the tour but yeah and i've also noted and been saying to y'all wow the driving lately has been extra shitty. Just the oh, just traffic in general and people, the chances people are taking on the highway and roads. So buckle up, stay cool. It's 52 days to the presidential election. And you know, Democrats are like, if Donald Trump wins, we're all going to die. And then Republicans are like, if Kamala Harris wins, we're all gonna die. And then Putin is like, if you allow, you being the United States and Europe, if y'all allow Ukraine to use the missiles you gave them to strike deep in Russian territory, you're all gonna die. So, yeah, dude, it's, it's crazy. You know, and like the theme of Thor News have never had changed and the 12 years is stay cool, avoid World War III, and prevent civilization from collapsing. And we have been on the brink like almost every day. So it's, it, it, like I've been saying for a while, it's like 9-11 every day. This was the least spooky Friday the 13th I've ever encountered in my life that happened yesterday, you know? Just because real life is so in your face all the time. And a reminder, everybody seems to be going through something right now. Whether it be them personally or things they're dealing with in their families or at work. I see way more health issues than ever before. Like they had a thing saying out that new studies have shown COVID super attacks the brain. And is, you know, extra bad. But everybody has their own polarized opinions on, on that shit. Some people blame vaccines. Some people blame the virus. Some people blame both. All right, let's try to have some fun. All right, so North Carolina. You got a chance you're going to get hit by a hurricane on Tuesday. I mean, there's probably better odds it's going to be a tropical storm. And someone was mad at me that I said Francine would be a Category 3 asterisk hurricane. And I was wrong. It was Category 2. But I put an asterisk there. I got within one category. So, And in the title of this will probably say, North Carolina get hit by a hurricane on Tuesday. And it might just be a tropical storm. And someone would be like, Hell no, dick brain. Fearmonger, it was only a tropical storm. But I mean, if I'm only one grade off, 
That ain't that bad. And it'll probably have hurricane impacts somehow, some way. And that, that would be Tuesday or Wednesday, the 17th, which is like three days away. But there is a chance it could be our fourth hurricane hit of the season. And then, you know, the 24th, well, this is the 384 GFS. You never know what's going to happen, but I mean, we definitely could get hit by multiple tropical storms and hurricanes over the next six weeks. Absolutely, without a doubt. Just put, and it's weird because it doesn't seem like it's been a bad hurricane season, even though we've been hit by three hurricanes. And I would say six prize max. I would guess we'll get at least two more minimum. But who knows? You know? How are you doing? And um, the thing I'm going through personally is other than being fat, which isn't really that bad because, you know, food is wonderful and always makes me happy. Well, I got to get in shape. You know? What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I didn't work a lot this summer. So now I'm totally broke. Which is a new feeling that I haven't had in a couple of years. So, technically it's still summer if you want to contribute or donate to Thor News. For all the work I've done this year over the last 12 years, I got links in the information box. But be sure to take care of yourself, your pets, your family first. You know, don't go out on a financial limb for me. But if you want to make a contribution or donation, it would be super duper greatly appreciated. And this lunar eclipse on Tuesday, Wednesday is supposed to be super wild energy. So, yeah, definitely play defense around that time. Okay, I don't know if this is true because it was posted on X, but when Elon Musk left San Francisco, moved to Texas, he put up a go fuck yourself sign on top of the building. But maybe, maybe this is just AI. Anywho, what can we do to get the two sides to not hate each other completely? Man, because the majority of us, 333 million Americans, go to work, do what we can to make it every day. And we don't really have the time or the energy to be super wrapped up in all the political shit every day. Yo. Anywho. But yeah, you know those 8,000 satellites Elon Musk has up around Earth? How awesome is it going to be when the artificial intelligence is in control of them all? Question mark? Asterisk? I don't know. Strange days indeed. Isn't part of the American dream the pursuit of happiness? Man, we need to step up our fun and happy game in America, in my opinion. Zebra rock on Mars. Um, there's a lot of space news this week. I guess I'll talk to you about it this weekend. God is great. You're pretty awesome, too. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Have a great weekend. I will talk to y'all soon.